um, and just kind and nice. And like the scenery is actually beautiful. I definitely feel like a lot of us here take it for granted how like pretty the the green is here. It's hot. <laughs> okay, so so he's uh more opting to go with the K roll this time around, not the snake. I mean, this that might be the tech for uh to answer Rush's Ike. Oh yeah, maybe using the the vacuum suck at the ledge for edge guarding mm -hmm. purposes, pulling him in. And he still has access to a couple of decent projectiles as well, so he's still gonna be able to set up traps. Um, and he's gonna have access to armor, which if uh, Rush is the one trying to shark him, or even even Korean for that matter, mm -hmm. uh, he's he can armor right through it and make it back to the stage. Okay, and one unfortunate thing for the uh, the crocodile pick is it does take a good amount of time to make it back to the stage. Yeah, so his opponent, his uh, partner is going to be suspect of double teams. Nice combo, and he gets the kill. Yeah, even an up smash onto Korean, who was trying to trying to get a punish. Yeah, nice little alley oop there. Yeah, like the Korean, he, he's, he's trying to bide his time because he knows he's like about to explode if he gets touched. That's right. <laughs> well, Rush doing his job as he cleans up, snaps his stock, but takes Korean along with him. Yep. Was not a clean kill. It was a little bit of a friendly fire there, but still very, very close first game. Yeah, you could even say that it was it was worth, like, yes, you didn't, you didn't really gain anything for it, but you did secure a kill on your opponent. See, that, that's the synergy that I like to see, man. War knowing, uh, or the each partner knowing where the other one is, and they throw it to each other. Mm -hmm. The easy combos. The boomerang connecting, which just sees so many soft hits connecting. Oh, very unfortunate for Rush. Whoa, the delayed armor there. <laughs> and just like that, the F tilt. So when, when K Roll's armor breaks, he goes into shield break animation. So if Snappy just like jabs him, that'll wake him up, right? Uh, yes, but I don't believe he starts. He gets like full, um, full armor back. Oh, okay. So the cracks don't heal right away. I got you. Or uh, not fully, anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, down throw, and War just setting up a good wall for Korean that has to deal with. He's not really able to support Rush. Looking bad for the blue team right now. Rush is about to lose his third stock. Another uh, hero spin from Snaps, really high up, extremely aggressive. Doesn't find anyone this time. Oh, the cannonball connecting, but Rush able to answer right back with the forward air. Yeah, War is swinging with that haymaker. Oh, and he got access to the crown. <laughs> he got his crown back, baby. Chuck him out. Uh, War was looking for the, the high recovery, too. Yeah. And they're connecting. Nice. Yeah, Rush has no choice. He has to share stock. Even though Korean's close to uh, dying already. I mean, Korean does have a pretty good blaster, though. So he can sit back, uh, play defensive. Um, and if, uh, you know, Rush does get in trouble, he can shoot at him. He can shoot at his opponents. Oh, but the Nair connects, and GSM Snaps is able to clean up Korean stock. Let's see if Snappy backs off here and lets War fight a little bit so that he can uh, preserve the 2v1. I mean, that would be the smart option just because he does have access to, like, arrows, bombs. Uh, he could even set up, like, bomb in a specific place and then just have war play around it. And the kill off this? Oh, but that's going to result in Snaps losing his own stock. Yeah, and war wasn't able to uh, save him. The dash attack didn't go far enough. And we have an even game. War versus Rush. GSM versus former GSM. Yep, these two were definitely rivals in Smash 4. They went back and forth. Oh, the crown Woo! picking up. Rush. Another grab. And there's going to see a down throw with the armor. But a good mash getting out of that, not letting War set up. We're going to see another down throw. What's the mash going to be this time? Oh, he, he predicted he would try to get out right away. Oh, and the down air sending War, uh, Rush off the, off the stage. Nair back air connects. Oh, he, he what? Oh, my he, God. He's dead. He's dead. 
Rush went all in on that edge guard. He was like, you are going low. And he was wrong, and he <laughs> died for it. But that was a huge gamble there. Don't, don't blame him for it, though. It was a very kind of like whoever blinks first probably loses. Yeah, it was a bit of a Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, that plays like that are, are what clutch out games. Yeah. Not afraid to lose. I respect it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Crocodile coming in uh, hot for game one. You know, War, from what I'd heard, War had been picking up the uh, K rule. Pretty early. Yeah. Pretty early, and then off and on throughout the day today. He said that uh, he just wants to do cool things, and he feels that, like, K rule can do, like, a lot of, like, really uh, funny things. I don't, yeah, cool is, I don't know if that's the word I would use for K rule. <laughs> Corny is, is one. <laughs> <laughs> but it is entertaining, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see, War uh, getting knocked around the stage like a ping pong ball between the blue team. And the hero spin is going to come in, but I don't think Snaps has a jump back. He's going to have to use the, the bomb recovery. And just like that, two stocks for green team gone. Yeah, really good start for the blue team. I really like how Rush plays teams. He's always waiting for his opening before he uh, fully commits. Oh, trust me. I think that's just how Rush plays in general. That is how he plays in general, too, as well, yeah. He's just, like, he's not really committing to anything, but at the same time, he's, he's still pushing buttons that are a little bit safe. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's just waiting for you so he can nair. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that boomerang has no sympathy for anyone. He just connected... Or trying to call out that jump. Okay, explosion taking out Rush's stock. He gets caught in the fire as well, but it doesn't matter. All right, spit him out. Oh, he tried to interrupt the, the Aether with, with Nair. Yeah, War. he's really trying to gimp that Ike. Yeah, War's being cheeky. War does like to flex on people. Oh, he gets the drop from the forward air, but War... Okay, I, I thought that might have like an explosion hitbox, kind of like Meta Knight or, yeah, or, yeah. or Charizard. Ooh, War trying to get right in there. And there's that Nair coming in clutch for for War as uh, Rush was able to land the Nair and trying to convert into an up air. But the armor just came in. He was clutch. Blue team able to pick up those kills though, so now they can really try to stretch this lead out, mm -hmm. get back in the set. Yeah, just go for easy conversions, extending your lead. Oh, and I like that they keep putting snaps like at center stage. He wants to set up on the side, mm -hmm. but um, Korean and Rush just don't let him. <laughs> this is yeah, this is looking pretty tough for the green team. Blue team doesn't look like they're gonna give them anything for free. Oh, okay. So GSM snaps. Taking out Rush's stock. Now it's really going to be on if the heavy war can uh, maintain his position and his uh, his status as the stock tank. Oh, but, good. Wait again. <laughs> yeah, that was just a good team conversion in general. And as you can see now, we have snaps by himself. This is looking grim. Oh, the up smash getting interrupted by an up tilt from snaps. Now boomerang and the hero spin comes out. Oh, very nice. Nair into up air. Clean bread and butters from Rush. Yeah, this is just a matter of time, looks like. Yeah, Snaps is going for some tricky plays, but uh, Blue Team is just being so patient that they're not they're not having any of it. They're like, you can bounce and drop off stage as much as you want. Really only takes one hit. Oh, wait a minute. That could be oh, the one hit. Okay, there we go. So, GSM Korean Rush on the board, 1-1. One, one. And with like a, the stage like that they just went to with Pokemon Stadium, they, it's kind of interesting that War has had success on that stage. Yeah. But he just looked suffocated that entire game. They just got off to a really bad start, I feel like. Losing both their stocks super early. And when you're 
a heavy like Hayroll, you have to survive, you have to live, so that you can be as annoying as possible. That's true. You do want to be annoying. It's just like a, a mosquito bite, you know, it yeah. just kind of constantly reminds you that you're there. Yep. Just causing disruptions and <clears throat> picking your spots and getting the kills when they come. Wow, look at this oh, team combo from, from Blue Team putting easy 54%. Wow! Double Nair into F smash on the side. You you, you never see K Rule die that early. Yeah, 80%. Oh my lord. And then landing an F smash on, on uh, snaps. Even extending the hitbox on War Shield. Yeah, Rush channeling that time in Smash 4 when he dominated the PR for about a year. Going into overdrive right now. Okay, S Smash gonna get punished with a down smash by War. Hey, I just see War and Rush battling out. I admit there might be some uh some old feelings coming out. Yeah, they're going hard on each other and really trying to delete the other. <laughs> okay, we do see the the, sh the focus shift from from Green Team. Oh, good Nair from Kareen, interrupting the back throw from War. Mm -hmm. I mean, as soon as Rush gets back thrown, and uh, it snaps, and War on the same side, it it becomes very grim for for Rush. That was a good idea by Rush. Tried to punish the downward part of the up throw, but he did a little too early. Oh, okay. I thought that uh, Rush was actually gonna hold down and just take the even stock, but instead, he was able to make it back to stage and then still clean up the stock. For yep. more. And Korean really holding down his role this game. Uh, really try, trying to stay alive, shoot the gun, support Travis, who's uh, kind of going off this game. Oh, he tried to do it right there. He tried. He, he did. did. <laughs> oh, the foot stall. What the? Okay, another back throw from War onto Rush. GSM snaps, trying to let trap Korean, but Korean retreats to Rush. And another F smash taking. K oh, second F smash. Was that off of a, like a throw conversion, or did he just know? You know what? That's just that static partner mm -hmm. mind link. He knew. <laughs> and Travis with the look on his face like, that was above average. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we did okay. We did all right. <laughs> we did okay there. <laughs> what, a, what a statement right there. Mm -hmm. and, and Korean and Rush go up 2-1 in a set where uh, it was looking like they were having a lot of difficulty in the first set. But I think swinging the big sword seems to be the answer. Yeah, he was calling out like air dodges, calling out drift. He was just making all the right decisions. Mm -hmm. Now Korean and Rush are just one game away from advancing to losers finals and being in the money, yep. which is uh, pretty important. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, but now we see a character switch from Roar. He's uh, bringing out Snake. I guess the time for games are over. Yep, not feeling the croc anymore. Mm -hmm. When you die at 80, I guess. <laughs> and you're supposed to be a heavy. Yep. Okay, Snap's going to be able to make it back. Rush trying to um, land a couple nares at the ledge, but not finding anything. One thing uh, Wolf can do to Snake, though, is that he can hit the Cypher, and then it'll extend to hit him every time he recovers almost. So he has to be very careful when recovering. Okay, so Korean. I'm pretty sure Korean's aware of that. Korean, yeah. very knowledgeable at this game. Good escape by Rush, mm -hmm. going over it. And Korean being there for Rush as well, making sure that War doesn't have a chance to set up more up smashes. And Snaps chasing. What is going on up there? The falling up air. The Ollie Oop so high up <laughs> that only Team Synergy can account for. Yeah, Russia is really uh, starting to use the risk reward of that F smash. It's like, I'm just gonna check you right here because my partner is locking the other guy down. <laughs> so why not? And both of those uh, stocks were taken from really high up airs from Rush. Mm -hmm. Like he he's reaching, but you know he he's grabbing at the same time. Korean's playing really solid too, though. He's playing very patient. Oh, he's definitely being the support role yeah. uh, that Rush needs. To be able to play this aggressive. This is how they played wild. in Smash 4, too. This is exactly what the roles were. Uh, you kind of just let Travis go nuts. Nice. And picking up a stock for his own. 
Korean landing a down smash onto War. This is looking pretty definitive right now. Did you see the neutral between War and Rush? They stood there. They had the standoff. And it was War that made the first move. Oh my god. So many explosions. And Rush still sitting at his first stock 210%. How is he still alive? Yeah, no one wants to mess with him. I mean, with, with the amount of stocks that he's been taking and landing, Nair's oh just even run off back airs, run off back air connecting. Nair, oh my, and he has max rage. He's going to kill super early against these heavies. What percent will Link die at? That is the question at this point. He's going oh, he he to Rush, you demon. <laughs> hey, Rush smells blood in the water, and he is hungry. Oh. And the yeah, blue team says, we are going to stamp our place in top three. You can book it. That's right. This is done. You can see a down throw, not going to be able to convert. But War still putting up a fight. Another back throw. Oh, landing a C4, connecting a little bit more damage. But an F-tilt from Korean knocks him off stage again. Does he have access to the C4? Directional air dodge. Very smart recovery. Wow. Oh, my God. F-tilt to up-tilt. Oh, he's going for the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that would have worked. <laughs> it, it almost did. That yeah. almost worked. <laughs> All right, so congrats to uh, Russian Korean. They are in top three. That's right. And now Korean has to go up against his roommate.